Hello, this is Ryan from Lend Academy. In our last video, we went through creating a brand new Lending Club account and actually funding it, which took about a week. And now that funds have reached my Lending Club account, I'm going to go through the process of actually investing the funds. So I'm logged in here to my Lending Club account. I'm actually going to click on invest at the top of the screen. So there's basically three ways that you can invest in the actual notes that, that Lending Club offers. Um, two of them are listed here. Um, so we'll go through those first. So you'll see here there's manual investing. And so this lists the notes that are currently available on the platform. I could click on any one of these and allocate um, a minimum of, of $25 per loan. Um, I could add additional filters. There's a, a long list of them here. And I could actually go through and, and pick and choose and, and even click on the, the notes um, that I'm interested in investing and do this all manually. But depending on your account size, this is a pretty labor intensive process, but it is one that some investors choose to use. Um, the, the second option which isn't listed here, is investing through a third-party service um, using an API. So Lend Academy's sister company called NSR Invest um, has an entire platform that connects up to Lending Club that handles order execution. You can select filters. They also have their own strategies. So that's, that's the second option. And we've written about that. I will include a link uh, in the show notes on more details if you're interested in investing that way. But for this account, we're really going to be using Lending Club's automated investing strategy. You can see it listed here. Um, so if I click on this, I can click on Start Now here, and it's giving me two options. So all grades or a custom mix. So let's just look through what it shows. So all grades is going to give me an allocation to obviously all the, the, the grades A through E. Um, and here's the, the note allocation um, that they provide. You can select whether you wanna purchase 36 month loans or 60 month loans or both. Um, you can select a minimum order amount of, it starts at $25, but you could go up, up through there. Um, and then they also have custom mix. And so here you can really select on, you know, what if I want a more conservative strategy, perhaps I'm going to select more A and, and B grade loans. And if I want a more aggressive, I can, I can change that as well. So this is going to depend on what kind of investor you, you are and your risk tolerance. And you can see that Lending Club note, notes uh, this, this, this note in red here, allocating to higher risk notes can result in higher and more volatile charge off rates and translate to lower and more volatile returns. Please consider the risks of higher risk notes when investing. And it also gives you this option for a cash reserve, uh, which is somewhat of a, a new, new feature. Um, I can also click this pie chart here and you can see if I choose to break it down, it'll tell me the allocation to any notes. Um, as you change these, it also gives you this historical returns range, which is also really interesting. And you can get an idea of how that breaks down, right? So with this current um, allocation, you know, the, the effective interest rate would be around 18%, expected charge-offs around 9.5%, uh, and then obviously the, the investor fees uh, for a projected return of 7.67, um, and then you can see the historical returns range. And then clicking on this details by grade gives you a, a breakdown um, more of, of each of the loan grades and the, the inventory of the loans and the effective interest rate uh, an expected charge-off rate. So you can get a, a breakdown by the actual loan grade. Uh, they also provide information here about diversification. Um, you know, it's, it's really important to 
make sure that you're allocating at the very least across 200 loans. Lending Club also notes uh, down at the bottom that uh, as of November 7th, 2017, issuance of F and G grade loan notes are no longer available on the platform. So for this account, I'm actually going to keep it really simple. Um, I'm going to allocate for now across all the grades. Um, this is just um, Lending Club suggestion um, uh, on how they would they would allocate a, a portfolio. Um, you know, you can see it's actually fairly um, you know conservative. This lighter blue color is is B grade loans, 21% A grade loans. Um, projected return of, of 6.24 and you can see a small sliver of E grade loans uh, and D grade loans at 16% and then C uh, also a considerable amount at 28%. So I'm going to go ahead and click save strategy. Oh and I'm also going to allocate uh, across both 36 and 60 month loans. This screen is just showing me that I'm about to activate my automated investing, which means that it will invest obviously in, in, in accordance to the, the loan grades um, and, and the, the funds will be invested when Lending Club actually um, releases notes on their platform. So this is going to take, you know, perhaps a week or two weeks. Um, I'll report on it back on, on how long it actually takes to allocate this $5,000 um, so new investors can kind of get an idea. But I'm going to click confirm here. Okay, and you can see that automated reinvesting is on, which means that as the payments, both principal and interest, get into my account from borrowers once the loans are actually issued and, and payments start coming in, it will continue to invest in accordance to um, the investment strategy, which is across all loan grades. Um, and you can see here, it gives me my, my target allocation uh, in the, um, with the bars. And obviously there's no current allocation because I haven't actually invested um, any of the money. Uh, and that's it. I mean, you, this, the process of investing in Lending Club loans can, loans can be as easy um, as you want, or you can you know, spend a lot of time manually choosing um, the loans you want to invest in. And, and I would say as an early investor, um, and, and I've had a Lending Club account for several years now, at the very beginning, I did do the manual investing, but it, you kind of quickly realize that it's not, it's not really worth your time to, to be checking your Lending Club account you know, potentially every single day or every other day to make sure that funds um, that are getting deposited in your account are actually being invested right away. So the automated investing, in my opinion, is actually the, the best approach, either through Lending Club's automated investing tool, which I just showed you here, or through a third party uh, such as NSR Invest, which I mentioned earlier. And I, and I would also say, you know, Lending Club really did a good job. Um, this, this new interface is actually very simple to understand. Um, so I was quite impressed.